Hi, folks. How are you? Andrew here, Top Fitness Strategies. I am the face who runs the place, and this is a show all about the average person who wants to look better, feel better, gain some confidence, especially if they're over 50 years old. What we're going to talk about today is how to stay healthier, how to stay fitter. Believe it or not, it's not complicated. It's not nearly as complicated as you think. And because you got you got two things you got to do. Eat right and move your body. That's it. I can I can end it right here if I wanted to. But I know the question is, but yeah, Andrew, I can hear it now. It's not that simple. I got it. I got to know what to do. I got to know what to eat. You know, it's, it's simple stuff, folks. Move your body. Put good food in your body. Good nutrients. Good something in your body. And leave out the crap. Yeah, it's that simple. But people make it too complicated. They're, they're too worried about it and not putting it into practice. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you got to do a thousand sit ups or 2,000 push ups or you got to bench press, you know, a gazillion pounds. I'm not going to tell you all that because if you're not getting the basics, in other words, if you're not starting to move your body and you're not starting to eat properly, what you do and being worried about what you do is irrelevant because you're never going to do it. You got to start doing something. Now, if you already are in the habit of doing something, you know what I'm talking about. Then, yeah, you know of a, of a direction that you're going, and it's going to help you out. But until you get to that point, there's no use of getting a a, a, a whole regimen, a, an hour or two uh, workout program going if you even, don't even know the basics or don't even want to start the basics. So forget about all the other stuff. Forget about what to do and how to do it. Focus on doing something, making yourself do something something that's going to progress your health. It's going to progress your fitness. Bottom line, those two things are moving your body, eating correctly, or eating better, I should say. Not really eating correctly because there's a whole other topic we can go on that's going to last days of what to eat correctly. All right, now just change your eating habits a little bit to the better because, once again, I always am a firm believer of we know what we should eat and we know what we shouldn't eat. We know what's good. We know what's not good for us. So forget, don't even think about good versus not good. Just think about, okay, is this what I'm putting in my body? Is this good for me? And if you say it is great, if you don't think, if there's any, if there's a question of whether it's good for you or not, in terms of being healthier, then maybe you shouldn't eat it. Make sense? Fantastic. All right. I know I'll get a lot of flack for this, but think about it. Really think about it deep down. What's it going to take? Forget about the um, worrying about what to do. Just start doing something. Okay? I'll stop it here. Hey, thanks for being here. Check out the links in the, in the description, in the, uh, in the show notes, and go from there. All kinds of free stuff at topfitnessstrategies.com for you to check it out. All right? And I'll stop it here. So thanks a lot for being here. Until next time, this is Andrew, the face who runs the place. Ciao.